Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Despite the threats received, the team behind the Come As You Are drag show has persevered. We received a, um, a couple threats that were not, you know, not taken lightly. Um, the FBI was involved and um, for the safety of our performers and our own personal safety of the community, we decided that we would cancel the show. I mean, I can't take all the credit. Um, you know, there were many groups who were collaborating to make this happen. Um, while I was speaking to several news reporters about the cancellation. There were other groups in the background who were coming together to provide a virtual space. Um, of course, we collaborated. They wanted to know the itinerary and the performers and all the plans that we had come up with already. Um, but it was amazing to see the community come together and make this happen anyway. A group on Facebook had organized a riot stating we will not tolerate this madness in these beautiful mountains. They say they're trying to protect kids, but imagine a child being inside that room thinking that outside there are people with weapons wanting them dead. You know, that's the real danger. That was the threat, not the performers. Regarding the threats, May stated that the FBI has been involved. And honestly, that makes me feel safe. Um, that literally validates the severity of this issue. It validates that um, threats will not be taken lightly. So far, they have raised over $4,000 with a new go set at $5,000. The money is going toward a gender-affirming resource bank that we're calling the Rainbow Closet. And, um, the you know, we want to be able to provide people with gender affirming resources that they may need, uh, such as clothing, binders, hygiene products, makeup, or anything else they may need. Although the outcome wasn't as planned, the success of the event has only opened more doors for the future. Virtual might be the realm, and it might be the place, but that doesn't mean that there will not be a drag show in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Ethan Miller.